Hey, what's going on, everybody? Carl Bethke from Rush Outdoors and the Whitetail Obsession. Just doing a little work on one of the pro staffers' bows. Uh, Kayla White's actually, we're going to change her draw length up a little bit, need to lengthen a little bit for her. But uh, this week on the Whitetail Obsession, we're going to bring you a couple hunts, uh, a couple mishaps we actually had during the rut. Um, a couple great deer, you're going to see people get opportunities to shoot, and it just the camera can see, but the hunter can't, and just just the way it goes filming sometimes and then opportunity to take a really great deer in Kansas I'm going to show you guys this hunt too uh, with Rob Drone one of our new pro staffers he had a really nice opportunity he had a giant buck uh, down in Kansas when him and his partner were down there filming so check these two hunts out I'll be with you guys at the end of the show thanks for watching the Whitetail Obsession
we're set up this afternoon in a ground blind overlooking a wheat field in western Kansas. Just getting set up about 3.30. We were in here about 1 o'clock and set up and pulled my bow back and the sight was gone. So had to go get a new sight put on. Got it sighted in. We got back in the blind. It's about 3.30, quarter to 4. Um, have a decoy set out in front of us have a big scrape down the edge of it and just grass and canyons surrounding us so we're hoping that they key in on this green food source this afternoon and uh, maybe hope for a big buck somehow.
tell. Gonna rewatch this footage, but I was gonna say when I pulled back to shoot this deer, you notice I'm wearing black on my face, and I rarely ever wear it. But we we're facing into the sun with this blind set up all afternoon. And when I pulled back, I actually had a smudge of the black paint on the inside of my glasses. So I didn't notice it when I'm looking straight out, but as soon as I turned my head to aim, it was in there. So I pushed the glasses over a little bit and shot. It didn't work very well, the way the video looks. But um, we found blood. We're going to let it wait till the morning, see what happens. I think it's dead, but we'll see what happens in the morning. It's going to be a long night's sleep. I guess we got a conclusion to the story from last night. It's bad and it's not good. Uh, Found the deer, bedded up with four other bucks and three does, and he ran out in front of me, and I got a real good look at him, seen his rack, seen the mark in his shoulder. But he ran up a, a hill like this and jumped a fence. I think he's going to be just fine. So at least he's not dying a really slow death. But it would have been nice to find him. How good of a hunt that was last night. But we're going to take the next half a day. And maybe get in the stand one more time, two more times. Maybe run into another one of the big ones we've been seeing running around. So, I guess that kind of sucks, but that's bow hunting. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those two hunts here. Um, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes hunting, especially with a bow and a camera. Uh, sometimes the deer gets saved by the camera, but. Uh, you can see Jesse had a great opportunity, a couple nice deer, and uh, that just didn't quite work out. And then Rob's experience down in, down in Kansas. Uh, you hunt long enough, something like that's going to happen. Um, of course, that deer did end up getting taken. Um, it was actually by another Rush Outdoors member, Brad. Uh, he actually had the opportunity to shoot that deer with a rifle. We'll bring that to you guys later. But uh, thanks for watching. You guys remember, get a chance to subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate all your support and all the companies that sponsor us, be sure to check out their stuff. Um, any of the products you can get right here at Rush Outdoors, feel free to give me a call at 608-445-7608. As always, thanks for watching.